Somebody is sleepy. He woke me up this morning all traumatic. Well, dramatic. Because he could see the room of his food bowl and he doesn't like the food I bought him. Spent like $15 on a three pound bag of food and you don't like it. So he was screaming at me and everything this morning. So upset. So I came downstairs and gave him some wet numbs. And after he had that, he got all comfortable. You know, he's just been chilling out here for a few hours. He's a cutie. And we're having another nice day. It's nice and sunny out there. And you're spending it in bed. Oh. <laughs> he's so precious. Yeah, this thing has a nice, it's like a built-in pillow. And that's the thing with him is that he loves pillows. He likes to use pillars as pillows. It's cute. So this thing comes with like a, his own pillow. Oh, oh, am I annoying you? Huh? You might be in a past. Uh, he's a long... He's a long boy. He's a big kitty. And not just because he's chubby. He's just a big cat in general. He's tall and he's long. That's something like anytime anybody sees him, they always remark at how large he is. They always have for years, even whenever he was trim. But he's old now, so he's got a little bit of more jelly. But that's okay, it happens to us all, doesn't it? So you're 12 years old, you're not no infant anymore. <laughs> Do you want your poo bear? I think butter's his poo. We need the butters. We need the butters. Our butters the poo. Butters the poo. I say if we were a part of the Winnie the Pooh stuff, butters would be poo, obviously, because he likes to eat. And he got the big old Tommy. And he's cute and innocent. I'm Piglet, because I'm anxious and a warrior. And the husband is Rabbit, because he's a curmudgeon. Curmudgeon Daddy! Oh, he's hearing his daddy right now moving around. He uses him for treats, by the way. I'm not always the treat giver. I only give him treats whenever he earns it. Every once in a while, I'm more strict. All he has to do is Paw his daddy's leg and meow all sad and he gives him all the treats. You got him wrapped around your little toe, don't you? And then you use him to squeeze out your farts. Now he gives him really good stomach massages, which you've probably seen in previous videos here. But yeah, he gives him little massages of the stomach and he squeezes out the farts and you can hear the farts like and you smell them. <laughs> yes. I'm talking about you. Although one time, speaking of farts, he walked up to me. Just a fart. I heard a little toot and then a stink and he walked off. Right in my face. You've done that before, Meester. Now the grass people are out there cutting the grass too, because the grass is finally growing, getting all fluffy, and we're waiting for the chipmunks to come out. Because those are cute. Butters loves to watch them. 
And they're lucky that there's a glass force field or you'd eat them. You would attack them until they stop moving. And then you leave their little corpses. And yes, he would murder a chipmunk if he had a chance. He's sweet, but he'd do it. He killed a frog once and left it in the living room for us. Have no idea how that thing got in the house. But it did, and I was, did not know what the heck it was. I saw this weird, like, little green thing in the floor. And I was like, what is this? And I touched it, and it was all slimy and gross, and I realized it was a frog. You murdered a cute little frog. And when it stops moving, you stop playing with it. And you leave it for me to clean up. How rude. That was when we were in Georgia. And we kind of lived near like a swamp so you'd hear them. And we were having a, to call it a barbecue that night. So I'm guessing it hopped in while we were opening and closing the door. But still, it was like, that was a shock. We used to get like the little green frogs too. They would sometimes be hanging on our windows. And he'd go wild pawing at them and all that. It was so cute. That's one thing I miss about down there is all the little froggies. And then like at night, which was weird, like at night it was really strange. Like we'd go out for walk one time and there were toads everywhere. It was so weird and you had to watch where you're walking because they wouldn't hop away. You could just stomp on them if you weren't paying attention. Oh, I came down here and I have disturbed his slumber and I was going to go eat or scream at me for food. Now look at that tail. Butters. What is wrong, my man? My dear beanie. The butters. The butters. Hey. Come back. We were having a chat. This isn't very friendly of you. I think my existence is an annoyance to him. It's okay. I still love you. Uh, I'm grabbing. Look, I have a heart. I give you my heart. Hey, I give you my heart and you just walk away. Uh -huh. Butters! Why are you doing this to me? You're cruel. Butters! Butters! Help! Ignorant little kitty. It's a pretty day. Yeah, you're interested because I'm next to the door. dad's shirt because it's big and bulky. This is my husband's Hawaiian shirt. I was feeling all bloaty and gross so I put it on. Don't mind this. This is just my wrist hurts from editing.
Yeah, you see the outside? You want to eat those twigs? You can't go eat those twigs. You can smell the grass that's just been cut. And if he hears me talking, he probably thinks I'm a mad person. He's like, let me out, you crazy lady. Don't let the bugs in. The bees have been coming out. The bees and the hornets and stuff. Don't want them getting in here. Butters. Oh yeah, good boy. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Aren't you sweet? You're such a sweetie. See if you can compromise. Oh, my old crappy shoes. I broke it down. No, little kitty heads are cute. Back of the, his back of his little head. Oh, he has a big head. Okay, I think this is going to be it for this little vlog. I'm new to doing these longer videos and my computer's kind of a pain in the butt when it comes to them. So be patient, please. And I'll do try to do these at least once a week, maybe twice or two or three times a week. We'll see how they go. If I have anything interesting to talk about or show or if I'm in the mood. They do take a while. And I appreciate you watching. And he appreciates it too. You can follow him on all his socials. On Instagram and Facebook, Twitter. On his blog, everything. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. I got I, I stepped on his foot. Look at your little tootsies. Look at the little tootsies. Thank you. Cute. Nice little ham hock right there.
My presence annoys him. Doesn't it always? I'm an annoying little bugger, aren't I?